Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Graveside services for Johnny Owen Moore, age 56, of Hansville, will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow at the Laodicea Baptist Cemetery in Hansville. The Reverend Jim Laney will officiate. Funeral services for Bernice L.V. Philpot, 103, of Cullman, will be at 2 p.m. at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel. Reverends Ken Allen and Sam Hollis will officiate burial in Simcoe Methodist Cemetery. Funeral services for Chastine Rouse, age 70, of Falkville, will be at 11 a.m. at the Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Vernon Alvis and Bobby Davis will appreciate or officiate with the burial in Garden City Cemetery. Funeral services for Frank McNabb will be at 1 p.m. on Thursday at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Brothers Paul Monk and Perry McCravey will officiate burial in Hopewell Cemetery in Hansville. Visitation will be 5.30 to 9 p.m. this evening at the funeral home. Funeral services for Gary Wayne Thomas, age 67, of Cullman, will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel. Reverend Mac Buttram will officiate. Interment will be in Cullman City Cemetery. Funeral services for Oma Ellard, age 82, of Arab, will be at noon today at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel. Pastor Scott Sessions will officiate. Interment in Brookwood Cemetery in Arab. Cullman Funeral Home is directing. Visitation will be 10 a.m. until noon today. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I realized at that moment, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference, right here in my community. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. We've got a safe driver headed toward the freeway. He is doing 44 in a 45. Now in the like nation, safe just got a little more exciting. Add vanishing there, deductible good. from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first because we don't have shareholders. Bill, that's a perfect merge. That was just, that was flawless. Nationwide is on your side. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Bank presents Today on 2, and this is Wednesday, the 24th day of September, another beautiful day. It's gorgeous. Gosh, it's been a great week, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Very, very nice. Very nice. Let's see if it will continue. We'll start with the weather forecast for today, brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Here's the Almanac for the 24th of September in Coleman, Alabama. The average high is 83, the average low is 55. 
the record high 94 1931 and the record low 37 1990 sunset will be at 641 sunrise tomorrow at 636 satellite picture shows pretty much fair skies over the southeast looks like rain up uh, or on the Atlantic coast but our part of the country looks pretty good here's our forecast for today Another beautiful sunny day, a high of 82 today. Overnight low tonight, 57. Tomorrow, high of 85. And let's check the forecast for the weekend. It'll warm up to 86 on Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, 75. 76 on Monday, 81 on Tuesday. There we go. Let's see, chance of rain uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yep. But other than that, the beautiful weather we're having will continue. That's great. That's great. We have a lot of things to we talk do. about today. Mm -hmm. And let's start with Oktoberfest. That's right around the corner. Yes, it is. Just a couple of weeks away. And it's going to be taking place, of course. Uh, opening ceremonies will be on the 4th at 11 o'clock. Participating restaurants with German food will be participating all week long. And this Oktoberfest contest and the polka party are on October the 5th. Events going on at the Festival Depot Park, the Loft, downtown Coleman, and much, much more. Get out there, participate. This is your town. We have this German heritage. Participate with Oktoberfest. It's really lots of fun. You don't have to be German. Just pretend like you're German. <laughs> You don't even have to be German. You can just go out and have That's a good right. time. That's right. Have a good time. It's so always, and we'll keep you up, up to date with uh, the specific events and uh, have guests on the program yeah. and talk about various things that are going on. Let's check our Facebook friend. Who's our friend today? Star Tucker. And Miss Star likes CMT and Maury. Maury? Okay. Uh, so anyway, we're going to give her that large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Smack's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here first, pick it up, and then you can go over to the Berlin Quick Stop and get it. Well, I understand we have video of your car ride. Yes, we do. We do. Um, you know, it's a little over 10 minutes long, but uh, I didn't want to show you all of that because it does get kind of boring just going round and round and round. <laughs> but I do have a couple of minutes that I wanted to show you where I actually passed some people on the track at Talladega. If you missed yesterday, I did get to go to the Dale Jarrett yeah. Racing Adventure. I uh, got it up to 172.3 miles, thank you very much, <laughs> and did 10 laps. So anyway, let's take a look at that right now. And this is from inside our uh, my vehicle. That's how it, the video shows. And uh, actually... <laughs> steady and I kept trying of course when you're passing you pass on the left and I kept trying to get closer to the in infield I really didn't want to get near that wall up there but uh, here we go again so that's my big exciting adventure the Dale Jarrett racing adventure and it's just kind of fun uh, it was kind of scary at the same time but I did enjoy it and if you do get a chance and you like to go fast this is the place to go fast <laughs> I wonder fast. why the other cars were going so slow. They're, they're different cars are getting on. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> Gee. <laughs> the cars are entering the field at all times. So oh, people okay. Come in and go. okay. Not everybody did 10 laps. Some of them did three. And so then other cars, you know, would get back on the field. And so, yeah, I know. They weren't, you know. I think you should have pulled up behind one and just kind of bumped it a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Like you're I, doing the races. I don't think my, uh, the guy is the, my professional that was sitting next to me, I don't think he would have let me do that. Because let me tell you, he could put his hand on that steering wheel anytime he liked and make me go whatever direction he wanted me to go. So, 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we have a busy, busy program lined up. Tell us who's with us today. Well, we do have Colonel Ken Brown here today, and he is uh, going to be talking about this big, wonderful Veterans Day celebration that's coming up in November. And he wants to talk to us. Give us a little teaser on that, because there's all kinds of things going on. Mm -hmm. He has planned such a fantastic event. And then also, let's see, Greg Richter is here, and Laura... Laura Axelrod. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what they're talking they about. They are uh, <laughs> going to talk about a documentary they have produced about That's Colonel right. Coleman. That's right. That's right. And the Colonel Coleman that they're talking about is Larry Rowletti, who plays the Colonel Coleman right. character. Yeah. And so this is a documentary they have put together, and they're going to tell us all about it. Very good. Okay. That's what we have lined up for today. Uh, we'll be back and talk to Ken Brown right after this. I sell paintings of cats. I sell antique cameras. I sell mufflers. Surfboard stemware. I have no idea how to pack this. I need help. I need experts. It's fragile. Can you be trusted? The UPS store pack and ship guarantee. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it. So if anything happens to this, we'll take care of it. I love logistics. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it at the UPS store. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. We continue with more of Today on Two. Colonel Ken Brown is our guest today. Ken is going to talk about Veterans Day, even though this is way in the future in November, <laughs> but a lot of things are going to take place this year. Ken, good to have you back on the program. Glad today. to be here, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, the 50th anniversary of the beginning of the Vietnam War, and this uh, celebration that we're going to do this Veterans Day is going to be specifically for the uh, Vietnam vets, although we do it for all the veterans. Uh, we have about 7,000 veterans here in Coleman County, which wow. is a very, very large population, a lot yeah. of people involved. I didn't realize that. But today is, like you say, the teaser. I uh, wanted, wanted to let everybody know to mark your calendar for the 8th of November, Saturday the 8th. We always have it the Saturday before Veterans Day. Uh, so that people can go to Birmingham and be in the parade or whatever they want to do. But uh, this year uh, at Sportsman's Lake and also at the airport, we're going to have uh, a split venue. This I know year. it's going to be hard to decide where to go. Yeah, You've I know. There's so going to be a things. lot going on, yeah. but everything is free. It isn't going to cost anybody anything to come. It's a family type event, mm -hmm. and it'll be from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock uh, all day Saturday, uh, the 8th of November. And um, we're going to have uh, all kinds of uh, activities. We'll have a skydive uh, event into the uh, Veterans Park in the afternoon, the fairgrounds. We'll have uh, uh, Army uh, Huey helicopters uh, giving people rides. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, military vehicles. We're going to have a Civil War living history camp. We'll have uh, wow. cannon firings for the kids. Um, just, just all kinds of events. And uh, our guest speaker this year, we're flying in from Tucson, Arizona. Uh, he spent five and a half years in the Hanoi Hilton as a, as a prisoner of war, mm -hmm. and that's a very interesting story. I, I hope hope that Veterans Park will be covered up to hear him. Now, is there a special dinner for him as well? Or? Yes, uh, okay. that'll be the night before. Okay. That'll be a, a by invitation okay. only type of dinner gotcha. uh, okay. for uh, our heroes. Uh, but uh, uh, we're going to have the P-51 Mustang fighter from World War II, which uh, will be out at the airport on 
static display during the day and then be flying an air show for us in the afternoon. And that was the premier fighter of World War II uh, coming in from the commemorative Air Force, used to be the Confederate Air Force over in Georgia. Uh, we have a uh, Stearman biplane that was used to uh, train pilots in World War II for the Tuskegee Airmen, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, it's coming in from Gunnersville, and they're going to fly in our, our air show in the afternoon, and they'll be on static display out at the airport. So uh, a lot of activities. It's all free. All the veterans and their spouses will get a free lunch, uh, compliments of the uh, uh, city and the county government. Um, and we'll have uh, Johnny's Barbecue out there for everybody else that uh, is not a veteran or spouse. And the important thing is to just welcome the Vietnam guys home and uh, tell them thank you and come out and thank all the veterans, you know. I mean, take an hour. I, I know we got Auburn football and, and Alabama football. Hopefully that'll start in the afternoon and right. in the evening. Right. Uh, so for those that aren't going to the game that are going to be here in Coleman, uh, we'll have Christmas in Coleman the same day, so you can come out, do some shopping, come out, thank, thank a few veterans, right. come by for, for an hour, Fantastic, check things great out. Event. Wallace great uh, event. Jazz Band will be there playing uh, swing music for the World War II and Korea War guys. Oh, and uh, We have round two that's going to be out there. We've got the uh, military academy coming in with a military band, and so there'll be music. We're going to have a big car show uh, there at the same time uh, at, at the uh, Sportsman's Lake. And so a lot of activities, good food, good fellowship. You've got flyers, and yep, if you'll flyers. notice that, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff written on this flyer. So how can, how can we pick up a flyer? Yeah, and we'll have posters out uh, through all the banks. The banks support okay. this, so okay. all your branch banks will have posters probably okay. uh, about the second week in October. Okay. And uh, there will be a lot of publicity about the event. But mark your calendar for Saturday the 8th of November yeah. mm -hmm. and plan to just come out and say thanks to all our veterans, they, they appreciate it. We don't want them having lunch by themselves. That's right. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks Ken. for having sure me. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. We'll be back with more of Today on 2 right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Fire, accident, storm. They all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. We continue with more of Today on 2. Let's do the prize giveaway part of our show for today. We show you some ads and let's see what we have. Cupcakes from Frostings. And what else do we have? Barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. And one more prize, I believe. Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. One large pizza. Those are the prizes we have. Let's look at our ads. We'll ask you a question, of course, about one of these ads. Starting with Frostings. They're open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 7. Friday and Saturday, they stay open till 8 o'clock. They're in the Market Plot Center by the theater. 
Steel Orchard has the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Buy your fresh hand-picked fruit from over 20 different varieties of apples right there on County Road 1141. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center is a full fitness center. They have all sorts of activities. They, uh, of course, have the fitness center if you want to just do your own activities. And Casa Cafe, specials every day, tacos, fajitas, burritos, and much, much more. A buffet Friday and Sunday at Casa Cafe. There we go with the blizzard of the month for Dairy Queen. They give you a choice, pumpkin pie or apple pie. I'm still trying to decide which is the best one, apple pie or pumpkin pie. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue featuring the family pack for just $14.99. That includes a pound of meat, two 16 outsides, four buns. Tommy Warhurst is your farmer's insurance agent located on Highway 157 right by Specialty Pharmacy. Call today for a free quote. 256-338-3701. And Mullins Body Shop. You've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and service, and you can count on them today. They also do towing. That's at Mullins Body Shop. Chesley Oaks Golf Course is an 18-hole golf course in the Fairview area. And they have a full practice facility, a bent grass greens. They have it all at Chesley Oaks. And Be Fit, it's a fitness facility right there in downtown Coleman next to Renard's Gallery. It's $100 per month, month to month, no contracts. Membership includes a free personal trainer. Earl's Body Shop, <coughs> voted best automotive repair in Coleman. They do towing as well, 24 hour towing available. Earl's Body Shop. There we go with some of the merchant ads and our telephone number is 256-734-7399. I guess we need a question, don't we? Yes, Today's we question do. is about Casa Cafe. Where is Casa Cafe located? You can either give us the street, right. which is mentioned in the ad, or you could give a landmark because right. it's across the street from, from something a pretty well-known place yes, in Coleman. Well so that's our question. And let's see, we have cupcakes from Frostings. We have barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue and Papa Murphy Pizza. And we have a call ready to go. I guess maybe I ought to get the telephone out yeah. here since we do have a caller. And uh, once again, who's on the line, please? Hi, Pat. From where are you calling? Coleman. Okay. Where is Casa Cafe? On uh, Main Avenue. Main Avenue is good enough. Across the street from whom? Uh, post office. Okay. Yes. That'll work Very right good. across from the post office. Stay on the line, Pat. Thanks for calling in. Casa Cafe. Across the street from the post office. Yeah. I understand there is also a donut place going in next door. Oh. How about that? Okay. A lot of good eating in that neighborhood oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with our rest of our merchant ads right now. And this time we're going to start with Grand Point Pharmacy, and they are on Highway 31 North, 2nd Avenue Northwest in Coleman. Pharmacy, coffee shop, and gift store. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House. He also has some baked goods and smoothies available, and they do have their open mic night on Monday, October the 6th, and on Friday, October the 3rd, it's Austin Cunningham, and on Saturday, Ron Brown's Songwriters Contest. Tires for less, more than just tires. They do have Bridgestone and Firestone tires. They're open as early as 7.30. See Greg and the guys at Tires for Less. And Pizza Hut, all-you-can-eat lunch buffet featuring a new pizza each and every day. Lunch buffet starts at 11 ends at 2 it's just 649 and Sunday night buffet is from 5 until 8. Mr. Hicks menswear and formal wear Coleman's only men's specialty store for suits and sport coats that means they have regular big and tall sized clothing for men and located on Compass Way, uh, Mr. Hicks Menswear. Cotton State Barns, where you can buy or rent to own. Buy barns starting as low as $14.96. Carports, playsets, utility trailers, and storage buildings available. Located on Highway 278 West, just past I-65. Brown & Company Beverages on Highway 157, where good taste begins. They have beer and wine, a greatest selection that you can imagine. Domestic imported, they have it all. And Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. Licensed inflatable slides, water slides, obstacle courses, bounce slide combos, and concession equipment rentals. Deb's Bookstore has a photograph and book signing coming up on Saturday from 10 until 2. Also, the Coleman County Animal Shelter will host a special adoption event at Deb's Bookstore coming up on Saturday. We will have more of Today on 2 with our birthdays and anniversaries and community billboards right after this.
Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. We had been called up for the first time. Wildfires were getting close to home. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. when you're coming back if you win, yeah, right? You're exactly right. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go back and kind of review that game a little bit if you will. It's meeting in the regional game um, tomorrow night in the home opener. The Eagles are going to travel to Cordova and Walker County this Friday evening. Looking to remain. Johnny Thornton analyzes Coleman Bearcat football. Coleman County, kickoff is set for 7 o'clock this Friday night. Good luck, Coach, to you and Now it's time for our community billboard brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Wallace State is hosting the parents of Esther Earle who inspired the popular novel by John Green, The Fault in Our Stars. This is going to be held on September the 24th at the Betty Lee Paints Theater out at Wallace. The event is free and it's open to the public. And Saturday, September the 27th, that's this Saturday, the Berlin Sunshine Club is going to be having their big bazaar from 7 until 2. They have craft items, baked goods, holiday items, white elephant items, chances on a beautiful quilt, and lunch is served. Book signing and potographs taking place this Saturday from 10 until 2 at Deb's Bookstore, and you can meet Max and his friends from the Coleman Animal Shelter and adopt a dog or a cat. And the New Hope Baptist Church number two is doing a big fish fry on September the 27th from four until seven. You get a choice of fish, chicken fingers, slaw fries, and dessert. Proceeds go to their building maintenance. Southern Circuit is a tour of independent filmmakers being held out at Wallace. Mona Lisa is Missing is the name of the book. There will be a question and answer session with the filmmakers to follow the screenings. And the Coleman Autism Networking Group will have an event on Friday, October the 24th. It's their fifth annual Making a Difference Conference. It's specialized training for professionals, parents, caregivers, and volunteers. That will be held at the Civic Center. Bayleton Junior High is doing Curse of the Pumpkin Run. That's a 5K run on October the 25th from 9 until 10.30. The run begins at Parkside School and ends at Town Park. Advanced registration is 20. Day of the event is 25. And if you have a billboard you'd like to uh, share with us, you can, of course, send it to our webpage, channel2coleman.com. Give us a call, 256-734-7399, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman, spell out the number 2. And we would like to wish Francis Murphy a happy birthday, and that name will be put into the drawing on Friday, where they have the possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. The weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It'll be another beautiful day today. Plenty of sunshine, a high of 82. Overnight low tonight, 57, 57 and the high tomorrow, 85 degrees. Coming up next, we are going to have an interview with Greg Richter and Laura Axelrod about their documentary they have produced about Colonel Coleman. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back to Today on Two. Our guests today, Laura Axelrod and Greg Richter. Welcome to the program today. Thank Good you. to be we here. We are going to talk about a documentary that they have been working on, finalized and so forth. Laura, let me start with you. How did you come up with the idea to do a documentary in Coleman? Well, I, I moved to Coleman in 2006, in August of 2006, and I first saw Larry Rowletti in the graveyard tour, mm -hmm. and he he was dressed up as as this old eight 
19th century guy, and I thought, what's, what's going on with that? <laughs> so uh, the more I asked um, about, like, well, why does he do it? You know, because he really puts a lot of effort and energy into portraying Colonel Coleman. And I became really, the more I found out about him, the more curious I, I became. And so I learned that he, he doesn't get paid for it. He doesn't, you know, live in town anymore. And it, the, I just thought, well, why would somebody do that? So that it, I thought it would make a great documentary. Because I think a lot of people wonder why someone puts so much of their life energy into portraying a town founder. Now, I haven't seen the documentary, but did he answer that by saying, who else gets to dance with all these pretty girls <laughs> That's why he doesn't get paid for it. <laughs> well, we, we have shots of him dancing with, with various people. <laughs> Greg, what's your involvement here? Well, I am the, uh, the editor and the cinematographer. And uh, um, and I'm also Laura's husband, so I, I'm the person who I guess I brought her to Coleman. So as a, if as a result of that, since we met and uh -huh. she moved here, we kind of uh, I guess I introduced her to Colonel Coleman in a roundabout way. Right. Right. <laughs> Have you done anything like this before? Well, I went to school for um, dramatic writing, actually, for playwriting and screenwriting at New York University, and I, I have a bachelor's and master's in that. Um, I've done some video work in the past. Most of my experience is in theater, um, both off-Broadway and off-off-Broadway. Um, but it was the first time that I really directed a, wrote and directed a film. It was a great experience, especially working with my husband. Mm -hmm. It was a great project for a married couple. Uh, okay, now the uh, the documentary has been completed. Mm -hmm. Where has it shown so far? It was screened at Sidewalk Film Festival in Birmingham uh, a couple weeks ago. We're hoping to get it into other film festivals in the area so people can come and see it. I know about the Sidewalk mm -hmm. Festival in Birmingham, of course, but I didn't realize, are there a number of them around the area or around the country? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. There's a large film festival circuit in, in the country, um, and especially in the southeast. People in the southeast really enjoy watching films, especially about things that they can relate to. Um, there's a number of film festivals in Nashville. There's Atlanta. There's even one in, uh, was it Florence? or? And that's, there's the UNA George Lindsay Festival. That's right. That's right. right. I've heard about that right. one. Mm -hmm. And there's a few in Mobile as well. So um, we're hoping keeping our fingers crossed that we'll get into some of those festivals. What does it take to get in a festival? They have to like your film a lot. <laughs> okay. So it isn't a matter of, well, we want to be part of it also. You yeah. have to be approved. Yeah, you have to, be, you have to submit uh, your film to be screened by judges. Mm -hmm. And then that's how Sidewalk, I believe, also has. Uh, Are the film festivals all pretty much documentaries or just a little bit of everything? Um, you can see all kinds of films at film festivals. They have documentaries, short documentaries, long documentaries, um, narrative films. Um, sometimes they'll have specific topics, um, depending on you know the specialty of the film festival. Mm -hmm. Now, Greg, you of course were raised in Coleman. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about Colonel Coleman in doing the documentary? Well, I learned a, a lot about his just how it. You know, and that's part of the the thing for me was like I, I knew that Larry played Colonel mm -hmm. Coleman, mm -hmm. but and I was and I kind of and I knew him from working with Oktoberfest and you know volunteered in there, so I knew him, but I didn't really know how he how how did this start it? What how did he how did he get you know? Was he chosen? Did he volunteer? How did all this happen? And that's part, that's one of the questions that we ask. Like, how did this even happen? How did uh -huh. he become? How did he become Colonel Coleman? That's the whole you know. That's the whole name of the film: becoming Colonel Coleman. How did he? How did it happen? Yeah. And I would imagine doing your research, not a lot of cities or communities have like a town personality. Actually, um, what we what we discovered um, by talking to Dr. Annette Lang, who is a public historian, uh, we've traveled to Atlanta to speak mm -hmm. to her about this because she also does historical reenactments. Is that there are, there are places around the country that have somebody like um, Colonel Coleman? Okay, you know. Okay. Um, so 
if that's the case, then what does that bring to the community? Mm -hmm. It's not only why does he do it, but why does the community accept this portrayal? Um, that's also something that we look at in the film. Did you find that Larry was extremely knowledgeable about the history of Colonel Coleman? Yeah, and and what he did what he didn't know he he covered <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> yeah, we we did we spent many hours with Larry. We we followed him through Oktoberfest. Um, that the whole week we just kind of stalked him with a camera and we saw him interacting with people in the community. Um, some of the people in the community are, are in our film. Mm -hmm. We also uh, went to Larry's house and spoke with his wife and uh, they gave us a tour of their home which is really amazing. They really have a respect for history. Um, yeah, we do, you know, Larry, Larry was just really open and gracious with us. We, we, without that we wouldn't have had a film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beyond the film festivals, mm -hmm. where what, what will you do with the documentary? We're hoping to make it um, available for, for people to buy, mm -hmm. um, for anybody interested. In, and we will include extras. We have uh, the formation of the Hay People okay. um, in, in sped up mm -hmm. uh, Time lapse. Time lapse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also will have um, Lair, uh, Colonel Coleman talking in character about Coleman and, and the, found, the founding of the town. Uh, we have Dr. Annette Lang as well um, talking about why people do this at, in more depth than what you know our film, our short film, can offer. And um, of course, we also have Peyton Palmer, who was Miss Oktoberfest 2013. Okay. She also um, appears in our film, so. She's a great, she's a great person. Now I'm assuming that it will not be available for sale at this year's Oktoberfest. Unfortunately, no. We're still right. making That's it through right. the film well, festival. You still have film festivals yeah. that you, you want to get into. Right. So uh, maybe sometime within the next year. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. Once uh -huh. it completes the film festival circuit, we are hoping to get it, you know, into the hands of people who really would enjoy watching right. it. Uh -huh. Well, okay, what's next? Do you have another project in mind? We do, actually. <laughs> we have a lot of projects in mind. Um, well, what would you, do you want to talk about your projects? Uh, I'll, uh, just in general? Sure. Uh, uh, well, I, one of my, well, as far as film projects, the, we're kind of uh, just talking about, we're, I think we're just kind of throwing ideas around at the mm -hmm. moment, but we want to do some stuff uh, again in film. Uh, I've written a book with Kay Cagle, right. mm -hmm. and uh, so that'll be out in, uh, in uh, October. I think it's October 13th is the official date, but we're going to be signing at Deb's Bookstore mm -hmm. uh, a few days before that. So that's, and that's a, talks a little bit about the whole history of Coleman County. Right. It's got a different person. Larry is also, <laughs> and though I did double duty when we <laughs> interviewed Larry, I also interviewed him and got a picture of him for our book. So that'll be in that book. So, uh -huh. so that, that's something you can get quicker while you're waiting. Right. To get the DVD, you can go ahead and get the get the book and learn a whole lot about a whole lot of people mm -hmm. in Coleman. In, yeah. As far as future projects, are you going to restrict yourself to Coleman, or do you really not care what what subject and where you go? He has a, um, a one of our next projects is probably going to be a, a film about um, Jesus in Alabama. So we're going to probably expand out a bit. I think. Coleman offers a lot. It has a lot of stories that have yet to be told, and so that's really exciting as well. Mm -hmm. um, we probably will expand outside of Coleman, I think, yeah. as well. Um, I'm not originally from here, so <laughs> I have some stories I'd like to tell about up north. But um, yeah, the, Coleman just has a lot of interesting things going on. It's really a, a community that it, I think is changing a lot. I mean, the Coleman I moved to in 2006 is not the same. And there's been a lot of great changes here, yeah. and I think it's really exciting. Very good, Laura. Thank you. Greg, thank you. We'll see you in a few more weeks. <laughs> and you and Kay come back with the book. Great. We'll be back with more right after this.